Hey yo, what's good everybody? SOS Wrestle Talk back at y'all once again for another pro wrestling review. New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong was it was it New Japan was it Strong uh, was it uh, no Fighting Spirit Unleashed? That's gonna say Strong Style Unleashed. No, it was Fighting Spirit Unleashed. Took place last night at the Sam's Town Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. Your boy ordered the show. I watched it via Fight TV. So this is my review of the show. If this is your first time checking us out, please be sure you like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. Please tell a friend to tell a friend. The price of subscription is free 99. I am the Pro Wrestling Fly God, Stardust Yaku, Blunt Cianido, El Toro Negro, all the above. El Wavo himself, like I say, here to talk about New Japan Pro Wrestling Fighting Spirit Unleashed. So without any further ado, let's get into this show. So the kickoff match, we had Matt Vandergriff taking on and defeating Buck Skyner. A little under six minutes with the 450 splash. I think the fact that they got almost uh, six minutes here was probably generous. Uh, it was okay. You know, it's an open, it's a pre-show opener. What can you really say about it? I thought it was okay. These guys did what they needed to do. They did their spots correctly, and I was not upset about it. So our actual kickoff match here, we had Danny Limelight, Royce Isaacs, and Jarrell Jarrell Nelson of the uh, I think of the, uh, the 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 West Coast Wrecking Crew I believe is her name the Wrecking Crew taking on Bayan Aki Titus Alexander and Jacob Austin Young Jarrell Nelson got the victory for his team with the springboard cutter in about six minutes and fifty four seconds. This was an okay decent opener. I feel like they really didn't get much time to do a lot of stuff, but. How this show was structured and how it was going to go, you figured that's how it was. So, like I said, this went about a little under seven minutes, and the Wrecking Crew got the victory, and we this would not be the last time we'd see them tonight. So, next we have a 30-minute time limit, strong openweight championship, no more contenders, fatal four-way match. We had Satoshi Kojima taking on Fred Rosser, who was a former New Japan Strong Openweight Champion, Jeff Cobb, and Alex Coughlin right here. We get Satoshi Kojima getting the victory V over Fred Rosser in a little under 10 minutes right here to become the new number one contender for the strong open weight championship. He awaits to challenge the winner between the match we get later on tonight between Eddie Edwards and I believe Hinari for the open weight title. So he's going to await the winner of that. So yeah, he's the number one contender currently. So moving on up the card, we have a tag team match right here. We have Johnny Robbie and Luiva, I think I'm mispronouncing her name, taking on Stephanie Vacor and Zeusis. This was actually a really entertaining match to me. This is a lucha. Uh, this is a, this is a, a luchadora match, almost in a way. Really good. We have Stephanie Vacor. She is actually one half of the CMLL Women's Tag Team Champions and also the current CMLL World Women's Champion. And after she got the victory over Johnny Robbie, she went ahead and threw her name in a hat to go ahead and challenge for that IWGP Women's Championship against Mayu Atani. So. Whenever we get that, maybe we'll get it next week at the Long Star. So not next week. I think it's two weeks from now. The Long Star New Japan show. Got my eyes on it, man. So then a match that was actually really fucking entertaining right here. We had Gabriel Kidd taking on and getting a victory over Tom Lawler. Filthy Tom Lawler. He got the victory via the classic pile driver. A little under 13 minutes right here. Gabriel Kidd is fucking amazing, bro. <laughs> He's just so fucking good. I don't mean to cuss. Gabriel Kidd is just so good, man. Like... Tom Lawler's a beast in his own right, but Gabriel Kidd is a young lion, no pun intended, up and coming. And this is just, hey, man, the work he's doing, I'm just a fan of it, bro. So shout out to Gabriel Kidd. Gets the W right here. Like I said, a little bit under 13 minutes. Moving on, <clears throat> excuse me, up the card. We have four. It was a 20-minute time limit. Atlantis' 40th anniversary match in the USA. We had Atlantis, Hiroshi Tanahashi, Mystico, and Atlantis Jr. taking on Adrian Quest. Tiger Mask, Soberano Jr., and Rocky Romero. Atlantis got the victory over Adrian Quest with the power bomb. About 10 and a half minutes right here. This is a cool eight-man tag. I mean, you people got their spots in right here, got their little shine in, but it wasn't anything that went above and beyond as far as a all-time class. It was just a standard, okay, quality eight-man tag team match, and that's what I expected going in. So, moving on, up the card right here, we have for the... I was was this for the uh, I think it was for the New Japan Strong Women's Championship. We had Julia attempted to make her fifth defense, taking on Hyon. She got the victory over 12 minutes via the Northern Lights bomb. This is actually a really good match. I enjoyed the work that both of these ladies did right here. I've seen Julia here in a bit, uh, here and there. I'm not really the 
I'm not the biggest stardom dude. I don't watch a whole lot of stardom, and I'm not trying to be like, oh, you don't like watching women's wrestling. No, that's just not the case. I just don't get around to watching a lot of stardom, man. It just is what it is. But I like this match that I saw here last night. So she retained her title. And uh be interesting to see who's going to be her challenger coming up because, yeah, man, like, like I said, it was a solid damn match, but you know, I I I'm just, I I guess I kind of just want a little. I don't not not want a little more. I guess I probably should watch <laughs> more. Uh, I, I guess more stardom. That's that's my goal. So after this, we have a teaser promo for Joy Janela showing up in New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong, and it looked like his target is going to be Toru Yano right here. So. Next match we have, we have our championship match, first championship, or not first, second championship match on the card for the New Japan Strong Openweight Tag Team titles. We have the Gorillas of Destiny, the current champions, taking on defeating Monster Sauce, that being Alex Zane and Lance Archer right here. They got the victory. Once they got the victory, we have the West Coast Wrecking Crew coming and attacking the champions after the match. So it made sense that the West Coast Wrecking Crew got the victory earlier. Am I excited for them to challenge for the titles? Not necessarily. I'm more of an ELP Hikaleo guy. But, you know, it is what it is. You got to give these guys over in the U.S. a bone. You got to throw them a bone here if they're going to be in New Japan strong. So, I mean, I'm not mad at it. Do I want them to win the titles? No. Would it make sense for them to win the titles? Probably so. <laughs> but uh, next up we have for the never open or for the New Japan Strong Openweight Championship, we had Eddie Kingston taking on and defeating Hanari. This is a fucking banger right here. Hanari, man, this dude is... He almost went to, I was like worried about him a few years ago to where I'm like, this dude's finding his footing, man. We all know what Eddie Kingston's about, man. One of the hardest out. So this match, definitely go check this out. This is one of the highly recommended matches from the show for me, if you ask me personally. I enjoyed it very much. So Eddie Kingston got the victory via the back fist. What more can you say about that than solid banger right here? Then the next match, <clears throat> the penultimate match on the show. We have Sonata, the IWGP World Heavyweight Champion, teaming with his stablemate Yuya Yamura, taking on Tetsuya Naito and Aromu Takahashi to a time limit draw right here. So this is just, I was wondering how they would play this match, and I think the draw was a nice touch because usually you see the guy who's challenging the champion, he's the one racking up the wins going into the big championship challenge. And I'm kind of glad. I mean, the draw, I think, circumvents expectations to what we usually get. So I'm not upset with the draw. I actually think the draw is was the right and correct call right here. So then moving on to the main event for the Never Open Weight Championship, we had Shingo Takagi taking on the defeating Tama Tonga via the last of the dragon right here. That was a, a match, man. Um, Tama Tonga, I feel, doesn't get enough credit. I think people overlook his skill as a pro wrestler because Tama Tonga can fucking go, man. You need to give, we need to give Tama Tonga his flowers while he's still here. This match was about tw a little under 27 minutes. Like I said, he put Tama away with the last of the dragon. Shingo actually requested newer challengers after the match. And we get a, I don't want to say returning, but we get a Trent Moretta challenging for the Never, Never Open Weight Championship. And to my opinion, I guess I was not there in the crowd, but the crowd went mild and i went mild as well because i'm not trying to just shit on trent trent is a cool wrestler he's cool he's a nice little wrestler and all that bro but come on man the challenge she ain't go for the nerve open weight championship you got to do a little bit something better than that dog and i'm not trying to just crap all over trent i'm not trying to do that but man it's not what i expected this match is booked in AEW. you already know trent will go over but thankfully he's booked in new japan strong or maybe in new japan pro wrestling over in japan itself so it looks like Trent will be the next guy challenging for the Never Open Weight title. So, no, I think this show was ultimately a win. I think these shows over in America, whenever they go on, they hit different one because they're coming on about 10 o'clock at night, which is very different from my New Japan viewing at all. So I think that's kind of a different kind of flavor. And I, I, sometimes I like it, especially on a Saturday night. I like it, man. So tell me what y'all thought down in the comment section below. Did you like the show? Did you didn't like the show? Did you love the show? What do you think about the people who are going to be making their debut, debuts, re debuts on New Japan Pro Wrestling? All that stuff, man. So we're the almighty SOS Wrestling Talk, Wrestle Talk, Wrestling Network, Wrestle Talk, whatever. It's both. Wrestle Talk, we just almighty. You know what it is, man. Gang, gang status. It's your boy, Pro Wrestle Fly God, Starter Shiaku, man, the Wave Lord, the Wave God, man. Human L I J Cap, you know who the fuck I am. And I'm signing up out. So, yeah, that's it. That is what it is. So I'm going to holler at y'all later. Y'all take care. Peace.